Tenants in Indiana with an eviction filing on their record can now have that eviction expunged, but this will hurt landlords in their tenant screening process. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting topic for you today, and it's going over a new law in the state of Indiana which allows tenants to expunge eviction filings from their records, okay? So the, the logic what they're going behind is that, hey, these tenants, they're, if they have an eviction filing on their record, they're, they're poor, they're innocent, you know, they, they were able to work it out with the landlord outside of court, so they shouldn't have that black mark on their, oh, we have to help them. No. Okay, and yeah, I'm, I'm using my stupid voice because that is these people who put this kind of law in place. They are stupid. They don't understand how business works. They don't understand what being a landlord is like, and they don't understand the reason why, hey, maybe that eviction process didn't go all the way through. So just because the eviction process didn't go all the way through doesn't mean that this is a good tenant. In fact, 99% of the time, they're an awful tenant. Okay, an awful tenant who finally, before the, the court ordered them out, decided to leave on their own. Okay, that is usually what it is. They left on their own or they were able to negotiate something with the landlord so the landlord just dropped the rest of the proceeding. But they need that black mark on their record because they still screwed the landlord over in most cases, okay? They still didn't pay their rent in most cases. And the future landlords of these tenants need to have the opportunity to make the decision of whether to rent to them or not. Now, if I see somebody who has an eviction filing on their record, I am not renting to that person. Okay, that is a dead rule that I have. Okay, I am dead set against it. Okay, I'm not renting to somebody with an eviction filing on their record. And the, the problem is they probably aren't going to pay me or I'm going to face the same exact issues as their previous landlord who filed the eviction against them. So, yeah. This will severely limit their housing, but there has to be, you know, consequences for these people's actions, right? Otherwise, you know, if they can just get away with just doing whatever they want and still get a place to rent, then, you know, what's, what, what are we doing any of this stuff for, okay? You know, they don't have to abide by the leases that, we, uh, that they signed. They don't have to pay us when they want to. They can, you know, we can evict them. You know, they, they create all these rules in place, right? And the end result is that housing becomes more expensive. It becomes, you know, where the small landlord like me or like the people watching this video have to increase our rental criteria so high that these people can't get a place anyway. You know, if you if you take away our ability to see evictions on people's records, that's exactly what we're going to do. So before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe button, maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What do you think of them allowing tenants to expunge their eviction records? OK, do you think this is a good idea or do you think it's a bad idea? I've already told you what I think. I'm just curious what the other people on here you know, believe. I know that there are some landlords who are much friendlier, much more, um, you know, just nicer people than I am, okay? But I follow a strict set of rules because I've been burned, okay? And this is the same with every landlord that I've met who is very strict. They follow these rules because they have been burned. They have lost thousands of dollars to evictions, to uh, property damage by, done by tenants, lost rent, etc. okay? And they don't wanna have to deal with those things again. So that is why we have the rules that we have right now. Oh man, nice topic here. So let's get into the article. It's coming from the IndyStar.com and it says, had an eviction filing harm you, you might be able to expunge it from your record. Let's get into it. Tenants across Indiana who have had eviction fi evictions filed against them that were dismissed, ruled in their favor, or overturned on appeal can now have the eviction filing expunged from their record. This is the result of an eviction expungement bill, Indiana House Enrolled Act 1214, unanimously passed by the Indiana State Legislature earlier this year, which took effect on July 1st. Eviction filings can haunt tenants for years, following them around like a scarlet E, a phrase often used by housing advocates to describe the stigma and difficulty tenants face when trying to find housing after an eviction is filed against them. And 
deservedly so in a lot of cases, okay? If a tenant has an eviction, you know, landlords don't want to evict anybody. I, I, I said this in one of my previous videos. It costs thousands and thousands of dollars to go through the eviction process. Landlords do not want to have to go through that process. Even if I don't have to go through the entire process, I have to pay a lawyer hundreds of dollars just to file the eviction and do all the paperwork for me. Thanks, tenant. On top of that, the tenant usually is being evicted for not paying rent, so I've lost out on rent money. And if you can't pay the rent and I'm having to evict you, it's most likely you're gonna leave my property in uh, disrepair as well. So I'm gonna have to pay for the repairs against you know all the damage that you've done. You know, and it, it just adds up quickly, right? But landlords don't wanna have to go through this. So what my hope is that, hey, if a tenant has that scarlet letter on them, then maybe that will deter them from, you know, not paying their rent, from tearing a property up, from breaking the rules that were laid out in the lease, okay? Maybe that will deter them. And you know what? It does for most people, okay? And simply put, for the ones that don't, guess what? They're gonna get that eviction. They're gonna get that scarlet letter E, and then they're gonna have a very difficult time renting from other landlords because the other landlords are gonna see that and they're gonna say, hey, this person had this eviction filed against them. No, it didn't go all the way through the process, but they left their previous landlord owing $3,000 and I don't wanna be the next guy that this tenant steals $3,000 from, <laughs> okay? Landlords often conduct background checks on tenants which surface eviction filings and can deter potential landlords from renting to a tenant, even if the tenant's past eviction case was ultimately dismissed. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it was dismissed or not, okay? Like I said, there is no way I am renting to somebody who's even had the filing on, on you know, on, against them, okay? There's no way, and that's too bad for them. I have more than enough tenants who've never had an eviction filing that I can choose from. To seal an eviction, tenants must fill out a form and submit it to the court where the case was filed. They can obtain a copy of the form at indianalegalhelp.org, which is a project of the Indiana Supreme Court, or ask the court where their case was filed and what they need to do to seal the eviction. An eviction filing can be expunged only if there is no judgment issued by the court that says the tenant owes the landlord money in the eviction case. Okay, well, that, that's some good news, what I just read in those last two paragraphs. So in other states, I believe New York has a law similar to this, or maybe they were trying to pass a law similar, similar to this, where, you know, the old eviction filings would be expunged, but they were just doing it automatically. Okay, at least in Indiana, the tenant has to put an effort forward to get this eviction expunged. The other thing is they have to pay off the money they owe the landlord. Okay, if there's a judgment for the landlord and this tenant hasn't paid it, they can't get the eviction expunged. That's, that's a little better. I, I, don't, I still don't like it, right? But it, at least it works out better than the super tenant friendly states where, you know, they just, oh, well, your eviction was six months ago. We're, we're going to automatically expunge it or, or better yet, we're going to make it so the landlord can't even look at the eviction records because that, that's a crime and we'll, we'll send the landlord to jail if they do that. Like, what? You know, you're going to send me to jail for doing tenant screening? No. You know, the, the affordable housing crisis is a certain issue, right? It is, but if a landlord and a property owner wants to make sure they put the best tenant into their unit, the one who is most likely to pay their rent on time, who's most likely to follow the rules and uh, conditions inside the lease and most likely not to damage their property, then they need all of the screening tools possible, okay? I'm talking about, you know, background investigations, credit checks. I'm talking about, you know, being able to look at eviction records. I'm talking about, you know, calling up your for the former landlords and talking to them about how good or bad a tenant this person was, calling up their employers and their references, checking their bank account information. These are things that are very easy to do when you're talking about you're putting a tenant into your property and you know this tenant could possibly damage your 
hundreds of thousands to hundred thousand dollars of investment okay so you know like my, my rental properties aren't cheap i don't want somebody to tear them up and i don't like the thought of you know losing thousands of dollars in rent so yes i want every opportunity to be able to do tenant screening <clears throat> Tenants who need help completing the eviction expungement paperwork can contact Indiana Legal Services, which assists eligible low-income tenants with free legal aid. Tenants can seal an ev eviction retroactively, meaning that they can do so regardless of what year the eviction was filed, as long as it meets the above criteria. Yeah, well, he here is the thing, right? This doesn't benefit landlords in any way. Okay, it only makes it more difficult for us. And the end result is that we are going to have to increase our criteria, which will make it harder for these people to rent their properties. Okay, so one of my criteria is now, you know, maybe I'm going to look at that credit score and put a higher, you know, number up there. So I remember I, I did a video and one of the landlords I was talking to said he only looked at tenants who had over a 750 credit score. And I was like, wow, you know, I mean, obviously I don't do that where I invest, but if you're in a place like California where you're inundated with, you know, very high end uh, tenants looking for places to rent, maybe you can do that. And people with 750 credit scores, most of the time are not in eviction processes. So yeah, th this is not a good thing for tenants. It's gonna make it harder for them to find affordable housing and it's gonna make it harder for landlords to protect their investment.